Hi friends, uh, today's project is to uh, finally uh, reassemble the Y-axis uh, ball screw. Uh, I've managed to source all of the parts. I have these uh, two uh, angular contact bearings, SKF. Uh, and they're supposed to be uh, paired and preloaded. So hopefully that'll be good. They look a little cheap. I don't know. Hopefully they're good. I, I, I have uh, the seals and I got uh, most of, uh, you know, the, 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 the rest of the parts to reassemble. I have uh, grease um, and I even have uh, the uh, computer with uh, the, the the part loaded because I, I had the computer here to uh, model some parts. Uh, so I uh, might as well uh, use it. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, one thing, the, 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 the way I'm thinking of doing it is uh, uh, the, the bearings go uh, into this, uh, this hole here. So I'm thinking of uh, preheating this, uh, this part here. It's uh, aluminum. So I'm thinking of uh, preheating it and just drop the bearings in. Uh, so uh, hopefully that'll work. So uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay, so let's heat this up. Okay, so uh, we'll let it uh, cool down a bit. Okay, so we're back. Um, it's still a bit warm, but uh, should be okay. Um, the bearings will be installed in a face-to-face -face configuration. These bearings can be uh, installed in a back-to-back -back configuration, face-to-face, -face, or uh, I believe this uh, this would be tandem. Uh, configuration and in a face-to-face -face configuration um, you have normally no or hardly any movement this way let's say this is the shaft it shouldn't be able to move back and forth but it has some um, movement this way if it's back to back you have less movement this way and still no uh, no movement uh, back and forth but in a face to face configuration i should have um, more flexibility this way which is uh, good because if you have a, a tiny misalignment in your ball uh, ball screw then um, it shouldn't damage the bearing of course we'll try to have uh, the ball screw installed uh, as uh, straight as possible but still so, um, so next, I guess I'll try to install uh, this uh, this seal here. I'm not quite sure what uh, would be the best way. I guess with a mallet, very slowly, I'll try to uh, uh, push it in. See how it goes. That's it. I'm gonna blow some air just uh, to make sure there's no dust.
hopefully uh, the grease will uh, make its way uh, on the other side of the race. Okay, I guess it's time to bring in the ball screw. They be misaligned. Maybe I should uh, loosen these. A little bit. So that both uh, bearings can align themselves. Because right now it doesn't seem to be going. Let's try this. Trying to uh, organize things so that you can see my progress, if any. There is progress. It's slow going, but it's going in. So now I'm going to use an impact to uh, push it in. So far, I am not impressed. There's clearly some uh, axial uh, movement here. It's not much, but uh, not much is a lot. Oh, I forgot to uh, retighten these. There's still hope. Still 
still. There is some axial movement. Uh, I'll I'll contact uh, the company who sold me these bearings and try to uh, work out uh, why I have this uh, movement here, and uh, otherwise we'll have to uh, find other bearings and start all this all of this uh, all over again. So. Uh, Anyway, I'll finish uh, the assembly and uh, uh, install it maybe on the machine and see uh, um, what kind of backlash I have. Maybe it'll be clearer uh, once uh, installed on the machine. Okay. Okay, so um, there is clearly some uh, pretty uh, serious backlash here. Um, there's, I can turn uh, that much of the ball screw before uh, I start moving the, the, the table just by feel. Uh, there is uh, at least uh, 10,000 uh, of uh, backlash here. It's unacceptable. So uh, something wrong with the bearings. Not sure what. I'll have to work it out. Uh, so I'll come back to you uh, with this. Uh, if you have any uh, insight on uh, what might uh, have happened here, did I do something wrong? I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's no good. Okay, so a quick update before uh, we end this video. Uh, I uh, removed the new bearings, um, and also I'd like to uh, say that the um, the bearings uh, were V X B. Uh, bearings um, and I, I exchanged a few emails before I bought it uh, I was assured that they would be uh, paired and uh, already um, uh, preloaded but uh, they aren't uh, I've put back the old bearings that were the ones that were there before uh, and I'm back with um, I've installed um, a dial indicator uh, just on top of the, the ball nut so that even if the table rocks, it shouldn't change anything here. And if I push and pull real hard, I get at most 
uh, thaw of the movement this way. So uh, a huge improvement. Um, I'm guessing the thaw comes from the, the old bearings still, but uh, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, it, it, they, they would be uh, uh, easy to uh, to replace uh, later on. It, you know, they're pretty easy access, so uh, I guess I'm gonna leave these on uh, on there for now and make sure everything works, and uh, then uh, I'll. Uh, fix uh you know if if that thaw is uh annoying to me i'll just change the bearings uh, later on with better quality or I'll, I'll take my time and this time and find something that uh, really works for sure and oh yeah also with the old uh, the, the, the 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 new bearings um the i said that i guessed it was about 10 thou of movement well my uh, guess was right it was exactly 10 10 uh, thou of movement uh, with the same arrangement um also uh something i could say explain to install uh, the the ball screw what i did i uh, brought the table all the way back so that the ball would be here very close actually uh, nearly at the I, I it had nearly all of the threads in the ball nut here um and i had this completely loose uh these also completely loose so that there would be no uh, you know um uh nothing would be tight uh so that anything could move i brought the table all the way here and then i um I tightened uh, the, the ball nut to the saddle and I had the indicator here uh, and I checked it was nice and stiff so the, the ball nut had pretty much you know the same weight on, on both sides so it was relatively balanced so the ball nut um, oriented the, 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 the ball screw I then tightened uh, these so everything was tightened I installed uh, the dial indicator um, on the, the screw uh, I, I uh, yeah on the screw at the other end and then I um, moved the table by turning the screw this way while looking at the the indicator and there was less than a thousand uh, movement at the end so I guess this way right away i had uh the, the 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 ball screw pretty pretty straight so uh this is how i did it uh for now um also i installed all the gibs uh on the the saddle but uh they're not uh, tightened yet they're, it's all loose um so i guess this might be the next thing but before i do that i'll have to um make sure that the, the machine is perfectly level so uh, i'm gonna borrow uh, a machinist to level to a friend put the the, 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 the machine perfectly level and then uh, look at all the adjustment for the gibbs and uh, and everything so yeah that's it uh thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll see you on the next one bye